let me show you that very quickly. We are running out of time, so it's uh, let me go to my catalog. As I said before, I have previously created some reports. I store them in my my reports folder, and um, what I would have to do first, as you can remember, is that I have to create my my data model so that I would be able to to have that uh, uh, structure like the schema. So I will do this again for you. I just want to show you what it looks how it looks like when it's done. So I will create a data model similar to this from scratch. So that's what I will do. New. This will be our goal. Um, data model. Say I need to create an um, orders report. So what I do, I know that the, the data is residing on the OE schema. And uh, I will call it uh, customers. And then query builder, and the query builder is something that we are we are already familiar with uh, from previous releases. So what I'll do here is I select the table customers, customer ID, first, last, address, postal code, city, state, um, customer email, save. That generates our query. I click OK. Okay. Now. I go back and uh, create another SQL query and I call it orders demo query builder. I have another table that contains that information. I use order ID, order date, and uh, customer ID because this is the column that will allow us to join with the customer table, customer status, and sales thread ID if I had a table with the information about the sales rate, this would be a column that I can join it with. So I save it, I click OK. So we have that and um, one more about because an order can have several items and we already have a table for that. I'm going to create another uh, query for it. So demo, query builder, order items. Order ID is the column that I will join it with, the previous table. Um, I'm going to select all that. Um, all right, save. Okay. What's common here is that the customer ID is common here. I drag and drop it, and that creates the join, as you can see. Same thing here, I have the order ID. I go drag and drop over here. That's the join. Now we have these three tables joined. And what is the structure like? The structure like is like this. We can rename we we, we could rename the business name it's like customers. Customers. And uh, this is orders. orders and here it's items items that's all then I save this um, example remember that will be in my data models I'm going to call it example I already have one completed but I'm just showing you this now the other thing is an important in this case is that you have to run an XML um, to get some sample data, do you remember? And then you need to save it as a, save as a sample data. This will be associated with your report. Now, once we have that, we can continue and create our report. That is something that I already did, and you normally do it by uh, create a report, and then it will prompt you for your data model. You select. That's the example. You click OK. I'm going to use the blank page. But notice that there is um, Oracle form letter portrait. You can use that. Let's take it. And you can adjust it and modify it 
to your to your taste. So you can immediately use these uh, previously defined cells for your your report, like saying um, dear Mr. and Mrs. If you want, remember, if you want to type something, you have to use the insert text, then you have to use text item, and then you have to do it like uh, Mr. Mrs. And then you drag and drop the uh, the object uh, the last name. Now, um, for those of you who are familiar with uh, VA Polisher, when you develop a template, you have an option like display inline or in block. And if you say inline, it will adjust the customer last name to right to the or next to the Mr. or Mrs. text. Otherwise, it will get printed down just below Mr. or Mrs. in this text. That is something that you, you will learn when you start working with this. But say if you want to run this, it will run only once because you have not added a repeated section. You will have to add a repeated section. You would like to have a repeating section for all the titles. And then you drag and drop a repeating section. And the repeating section will be for every customer ID you will have to do all this and then I will have to let me see if I can select this and I'll show you in a moment um, how this is finished I'll drag and drop because I'm reusing a previously existing template you have within the star grouping customer ID you will have the, the text that you want to repeat every time for every customer ID okay that's the, normally the way that you do it. Let's uh, call it sample. And I'll jump straight to the one that I already have uh, for uh, this exercise. I don't know. My reports. Uh, okay, this. Now, you can see here that I have modified the, the one with the Oracle logo. I inserted the Business Intelligence Consulting Group logo. How you do that? You simply uh, select the, the section that you want, say, for example, here. And you say, I want to insert an image. You go and drag and drop and insert an image. And it will I'll prompt you for the location of your file. And then you, you look for your icon and then um, just insert the icon like I did and you get this inserted in your template. Now, as I showed you before, you need to uh, select the grouping section or repeating section. Once you insert a repeating section, everything inside the repeating section will get repeated. That is, for example, um, the customer's name or a graph, right? And um, that, that will help you to generate a report for multiple customers or users. And let me return to uh, a finished report so that you can take a look how it looks like. Uh, edit. So this is what it looks like. You see, this is the repeating section. I have this is this is a table. And this is one of the objects. Uh, obviously, this is another data set, but uh, the same idea. You drag and drop the 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 column with the information. You type a title here, but this is dynamically changing. <clears throat> All these are dynamically changing. And in the end, what you have is something like this when you run it your report now this is in HTML if you want to see this in a PDF so what you do is this there are 10 pages so this is one of them this is the second page the third but this is another customer Rachel calls this is brown, this is hatches, and so on. 
So um, this covers basically the idea of how you generate um, a report with a structure like a nested uh, series of information and um, using the new data modeler. Some more slides to uh, explain to you how to approach and upgrade your existing VA publisher from 10G to 11G. Now, um, the upgrade to 11G is a three-step process. The information here is based on published information by Oracle, uh, which is uh, here at, as a footnote. And um, basically, the steps are like this. You need to install the VIE 11G. There is no single installation of VA Publisher 11G. It, it, it doesn't come with a separate installation. You will have to install the VIE 11G software. The second is you will upgrade your VA Publisher repository from 10G to 11G. And finally, if you are using VA Publisher Scheduler in your environment, and that will have to get upgraded as well. So the three step is like this. You need to install the software using the VA Publisher installation software in a separate machine or in the same. And all you have to make sure is that it, have, it has enough uh, RAM memory. The next thing is you would use something called the RAM Upgrade Assistant that comes with uh, the software and that will help you to upgrade your VA Publisher repository, that is the, the file-based repository, to a file-based repository in 11G. For those of you who are using XMLDB as a repository for VA Publisher, you will have to move that structure to a file-based system and then perform this step, migrate from 10G to 11G using the Run Upgrade Assistant. Um, and notice that in 11G you will not have uh, the XMLDB support. Again, you will have to use either the file base or BIE catalog base. The third step is if you are using BIP 10G scheduler, you will have to run the upgrade assistant and select the option corresponding to that step. Select upgrade via virtual scheduler schema and then it will perform a series of uh, um, transformations and moving because it will create a new structure of the scheduler and the, the, the data from one place will go to the other. 